All right, it is time for an easy run. Remember to keep your easy runs easy. Lately, I've been doing a lot of easy mileage. My main aim has been to increase my work capacity. Work capacity is a, it's a pretty loose term, but basically it refers to the amount of training volume you can do in a given day or a week or a month. In other words, I've just been running and cycling a bit more distance-wise and time-wise each week. But now that I have this Skimo event coming up, I'm gonna get a bit more structured with my training again. And it all starts with a book. Training for the uphill athlete. It's a really good read. Uh, even if you're not into mountain sports, uh, the first half of the book is all about the basics of endurance and physiology of the body. So uh, I highly recommend you read this anyways. And because this is a training book for mountain athletes, many of the training plans are based on the amount of vertical meters you run each week. And based on this book and the other knowledge I already possess, I've come up with a rough plan for, for my training for this event. So uh, I've got 15 weeks to train. The first eight weeks I will be training my base endurance, my aerobic capacity. Every fourth week will be, be a recovery week. And then the last, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven weeks. I'll start doing more race specific training and I'll also add some intensity to my workouts. But not too much. I, I want to keep this really simple. It's mainly just about, again, increasing my training volume and increasing the amount of vertical I do because if I only run and ski on flat ground, I'm not gonna do it well in an event that requires you to climb 4,000 meters. So, vertical is gonna be key. The only problem is that there are no mountains in Stockholm where I'm currently living in. There are some hills, but the question is how can I rack up thousands of meters of vertical every week without mountains? For that, there's an uh, inspiring story in the book by John Kelly, training for mountain running without mountains or time. Now, John Kelly is one of the few finishers of the Barkley Marathon, which is a marathon with more than 60,000 feet or about 20,000 meters of elevation, which means that you basically means scale you basically up scale Mount up Everest up twice Everest during twice that marathon. During that marathon. But so he didn't live near mountains while he was training for the marathon. In fact, he found a 95 feet or like a 30 meter tall hill and he used that to rack up some vertical. And all his other runs were done during commutes where he focused on intensity. And finally he used incline treadmill workouts to rack up some more vertical meters. And as I said, with this training protocol, he was able to finish Parkland Marathons. So. I don't really need mountains to train for a mountain event. And my weekly schedule is gonna roughly look like this. On the weekdays, I'll mainly do running and Nordic skiing. Running is still very good for building up my endurance and Nordic skiing more closely mimics uh, ski mode. I'll also have two to three strength work workouts, which mainly focus on general strength with compound movements like deadlift, bench press, weighted pull-ups, stuff like that. And then I'll also try something new. Once a week, I'll try to do a muscle endurance workout. So here's one of the ways I'm using to improve uh, my muscle endurance. Here's a backpack. It weighs around 15 kilograms because I put a kettlebell in it. I'm just gonna put it on my back. Now I'm gonna uh, walk up and down that rather steep hill. It actually goes all the way up here, but you can't really see it. The idea here would be to keep my heart rate low and create a lot of fatigue in my legs. So the limiting factor shouldn't be my cardiovascular system or my heart. It should be my legs. So let's try. All right, start. It sure burns your legs, just as wanted. A schemo event also has a lot of technical aspects or skills that I need to learn. Things like transitions, kick turns, skin management, boot packing, high tempo skinning and downhill fast skiing. And the book suggests a great way 
for me to train those skills. And I would call it the schemo skills loop. So for instance, uh, the loop could start with a transition from uh, boot packing to skinning. Then I would do high tempo skinning and kick turns on my way up. Then I would transition from skinning to boot packing, do a bit of boot packing. I would again transition from boot packing to skiing, then do some downhill fast skiing, get to the bottom and do some skin management and then repeat the loop. And then we are left with the weekend. And my plan is to use the weekends for actual ski touring. Relating to that... Oi, oi. This right here uh, is a winter tent. The North Face Mountain 25 tent. Not sponsored. Which is the tent that many mountaineers use even at Mount Everest base camp. So this is really, really sturdy. I might have overshot it a bit, uh, but my plan is to use this during our weekend trips. So we drive to the mountain, we set up camp, we sleep in a tent and the days we, we spend ski touring. So it's like, I hope that we can have some sort of winter adventure almost every weekend. That's that's the point. That's why I ordered this, this bad boy. A huge thank you to all of you who bought some some merch because it was due to your financial support that I was able to sign up for this event and then buy this gear that now enables, enables me to train for this race. So, thank you. I actually had all of my ski touring gear here in Finland. So now I need to take all this gear back to Sweden. I've got a uh, skis, lightweight boots, a ski pack, a bunch of sleeping bags, three of them actually, a back armor or whatever you call that, soft shell jacket, sleeping pads. So now I'm in Finland and I'm gonna go back to Sweden. Does anyone know where I live anymore? I mean, it's so complicated in my videos. Sometimes I'm in, in, in the Netherlands, then I'm in Finland, then I'm in Sweden. Sometimes I'm in Austria. Yeah, I, I live in Sweden at the moment. Just to make that clear.